Hello, friend. Welcome back to New S Academy. In this session, we are going to see can we run any application on uh, uh, 8081 port? Okay, so we need to understand how the port forwarding works in Cloud of 2.0. Okay, so uh, let me recap. In the previous sessions, we have created private space. We have seen how to control outbound traffic, how to control uh, you know uh, public access to your uh, APIs. We have seen how to upload the uh, custom domain TLS context and all that. Okay, so I'll recommend please go through those sessions and come back to this session. Okay, now let's me let let's go back to our uh, whiteboard and let's try to understand what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay. So I have a application which is running on 8.0. So let's say there is a flow inside my app or application which is running on 8.0.8.2. 8.0.8.2 port. Okay. So now how the port forwarding works in cloud of 2.0 is. So if you if you remember for HTTP, the default port is 80. And for HTTPS, the default port is 443. Okay. So whenever we send a traffic from our REST clients or from our browser, with these protocols, with this our host name, these port numbers are getting passed. This port numbers reach, reaches our ingress load balancer. Okay. So the, there is an ingress load balancer for, for each private space. Okay. So this is our ingress load balance now ingress load balancer what this guy does this does it maps 80 to 80 81 80 81 and 442 80 81. that means if my app is running on 8081 from outside i won't be able to access that app if i want to access the app that has to run on my port number called 8081, whether it's HTTP or HTTPS, okay? Is there a way to run any application on 8082 port? Yes, possible, okay? But that app won't be accessible from outside. So to show this demo, I have created simple app. Let's go ahead and look at that app, okay? So uh, it's a uh, one way SSL. So I, I try to show you the the last my security also via this uh, via this uh, demo okay so let me open my mule application here so i have two flows here simple flow okay nothing uh, fancy over here so one flow is running on port number called 8082 okay so if i show you the configuration of this http listener it's running on 8082 okay now the second app uh, uh, flow which is running on 8081 so both uh, both are running on port called https uh, protocol https and now this guy is running on port 8081 now as per cloud of 2.0 as per cloud of 2.0 this flow won't be reachable from outside okay this flow will be reachable from outside okay so let's let's deploy this and see whether whether whatever we are saying is that true let's go ahead and deploy this application to our to our private space okay so let's go ahead and deploy the application which i have created for for my demo so that is one way ssl okay okay so I'll just say name of the application and the ingress. We can go ahead and select if you want any, uh, you know, uh, any other URL. You can go ahead and select this one also. Okay, but we'll go with the default one. Whatever is there. Now to uh, to show this. Uh, okay, uh, right now I am not going to select this last mile security. I will say uh, show you what this exactly means. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy it. So it's getting deployed now. Uh, 
So we have endpoints server hyphen eight zero eight two and server hyphen eight zero eight one. Okay. Now I was talking about this point where I said yes, we can run some flow on eight zero eight one also, and those will be accessible, you know, within same app. So if I am deploying this app with two ports, okay, one is running on eight zero eight one and one flow so these are actually flows okay so one flow is running f1 is running on 8081 and f2 is running on 8082 f1 can access 8082 okay by using http requester component okay so we'll see that this demo so first let's see whether 8081 is accessible 8082 uh, is accessible from outside or not then we'll see how to access them within the app okay so for that, I have created one flow called two SSL. Okay. So let me show you this. So what I have done here, if you look at my server, this server is running on, this server is running on 8082. Okay. And on HTTPS. And the other flow client, which is simply running on HTTP. And from this HTTP requester component, I am calling the above server flow. If you look at this, localhost colon 8082 slash server. I'm calling it, okay? So we'll see this demo after this one gets deployed. Let's see the first one is getting deployed or not. So looks like it's almost ready. <coughs> okay so one way is that it's ready now let's go ahead and pick the url okay. so let's copy this url okay and first so first url is server hyphen eight zero eight two okay control c and control v second url is with eight zero eight one okay so let's try to see. Let's go ahead and trigger the first URL, which is 8082. Okay, it says that it's currently unable to handle this request. Okay, now let me change, make it 8081. What happened? Right? So if you remember, what happened? Why we are getting this, this uh, issue? Okay. So the issue is, let me go back and explain. This is not issue with the port number right now. So the request is coming on HTTPS till our ingress load balancer till here. Now on, uh, you know, on, on app level, I have not enabled that last mile security. So our HTTP uh, SSL is getting terminated on our load balance itself. It's not passing that HTTP connection to our mule application. Okay. So that's the reason it's not able to access that, uh, you know, URL. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and we'll enable the last mile security on our app. If we go to the ingress load balancer here and say, enable last mile security, apply the changes. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, it will redeploy. So wait for this. It's applying the configuration changes. So it's not touching the current deployment. Okay, it will create new deployment for us, new pod for us. And once this new pod is ready, this old pod will get dismantled. Okay, and why this is happening? This is called zero downtime, and this is happening because of this option, the rolling update option. Okay, let's go back. Let's wait for the status update. Still, our URL won't be accessible. Yeah, it's it's accessible now. See, so my app is updated now with a new configuration changes, and I'm able to access server running on 8081, but 
server two, which is running on eight zero eight two, it will say no listener for endpoint system because it's it's passing URL which is on eight zero eight one, and with eight zero eight one, you won't find any endpoint which is server hyphen eight zero eight two. Okay, yeah. So you cannot run or uh, we cannot access a uh, application which is running on 8081 because of cloud up 2.0 port forwarding because all the requests are getting forwarded to the 8081 port okay let's go ahead and let's see now uh, the demo where where our flow is running on 8082 and that is accessible from our uh, uh, other flow okay so let's go ahead and quickly what i'll do i'll create some space over here so I'll just go ahead and uh, undeploy some space. So I'll just say delete this so that I'll get little space over here. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy our new application. Let's go. Now I'm trying to show you a flow which is running on 802, which is accessible from our uh, another flow which is running on 8081. So we can run some applications uh, on 80, uh, uh, some flows on 8082, and we can access also. Okay. But from ingress load balancer, those won't be accessible because of the port forwarding issue. Okay. So let's copy this, put it here. And now I'm not enabling any last mile security also. Okay. Because within within uh, uh, application, I don't need any last mile security. Last mile security is required when I'm hitting it from load balancer to my application. Okay, and if you want to pass that on HTTPS. So now I'll deploy this. Okay, it will take some time. Meanwhile, I'll show you what message I'm printing over here. So it's hello Mulis, okay, and I'll be triggering this particular endpoint which will be reachable from ingress load balancer. And then internally, I'll be calling a flow, which is running on 8082. Okay. So internally, it's accessible. Let's go ahead and wait for, it's getting deployed. <coughs> Let's look at this status. So meanwhile, we'll copy this URL, copy this URL, and go back here, control B. So our URL is client. Okay. Control C. Control V. If I trigger this URL. So right now not found because our app is not yet deployed. Let's wait for this. So it's getting deployed now. Let's trigger this. You'll be able to see the hello message. This message is coming from a app which is running on 8082. Okay. But directly it's not accessible. So that's all from this session. Let me quickly recap what we have done. So uh, we have created two applications, okay? In one applications, we have deployed app on 8082 and one app on 8081. And uh, one more thing we have demonstrated here, if you have implemented one way SSL, okay? So let me show you that quickly. So if you remember this, uh, I have enabled one way SSL on this where I have configured TLS, okay? And inside TLS, I have configured the server key store, okay? So I'm sending, uh, you know, a TLS context. And that will work only when, if I enable last mile security option checkbox, okay? So that that's what we have seen. We have seen that it's accessible uh, on 8081 only, okay? And uh, with that last month security checkbox is checked, then only it will be accessible. Then in the second app, what we have done, 
we have implemented a simple uh, 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 app with two flows. One is running on 8081 and one is running on 8081, uh, 8082 and 8081. And that other flow we are accessing from our client flow. And this works fine. Okay. So that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Uh, I'll recommend to please go ahead and subscribe the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that uh, you know, you'll get notification to the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.